Howdy cowdies. Welcome to a quick little weekly walk about the collector. Heaps of cool stuff this week. Some lovely little antique pistols, little flintlock one there, and another little sort of revolving barrel pistol over the back, a little pepper pot or something I think they're called. And here's a nice little one, little revolver in the front there. Little revolver's a bit AF. Looks to have been decommissioned. But they're very nice little things. Lovely little tribal ink pot over the back there as well, and a little bone, carved bone base. Nice little pair of napkin rings with the Australiana kangaroo and the emu. Some risque playing cards, some, some costume jewellery and some nice bits of sterling silver. Coins, cards, cutthroat razors. A couple of little bits of gold in a bag. And what else have we got? Nice little chest of drawers there, Edwardian chest, he's a ripper. Pretty like little 50s chest actually. It's pretty cool, with a little light box on top of the nice little 1960s little sharp portable TV there on the swivel base. Nice continental jardinier with the pedestal stand. And also we've got a little table there with the lamps, nice little pair of deco prints. Got Coca-Cola stuff, box kids toys, heaps of box glassware and stuff and stereo equipment this week and CDs. Big box of Playboys and stuff there. Heaps of tribal stuff this week as well. Some nice chairs and boxes of Coca-Cola stuff and pottery and glass and lighting. Old Eskies. Cool old Trigger Brothers surfboard over the back there, old Thruster. Some nice books, all the official history of Australia in the First World War, all in the original postal boxes, which is nice to see. Heaps of Phantom comics. We've got about three or four boxes of them this week. Got nice pottery and glass and Australian pottery and some heaps of mint box match boxes and other sort of die casts as well. Nice old shell tins up the top, little red telephones a ripper. There you go, box of blow torches and heaps of cutlery and stuff. Nice old typewriter down the bottom. A little, little lot of tribal carvings there, pretty cool. She's really nice, the Trechikov print, all original in a shadow box frame. These are nice as well actually. A little pair of lino cuts. A little European scenes, Innsbruck and something else. They're both signed. Lovely things. This is actually nice as well. Little Art Deco Maxfield Parish print. And this is nice. The watercolour there of Greenwich House. Where Mean Time, where Greenwich Mean Time is set. There you go. Dated 1909. It's titled and dated, but it's not bloody signed. What a bastard. Why would you do that and not put your name on it? Anyway, nice little watercolour. The old mobile tin sign's pretty cool as well. Nice old cash box there, or deed box. It's a big bloody thing. It's got a couple of lift-out trays in it. And these nice as well, actually. Little box sort of garagey bit. More box die casts, matchbox models of yesteryear and trucks and tribal figures. Nice little EP set there. Kentucky Jim Beam whiskey decanter. There you go, the old total sort of service station petrol sign. Pretty cool, actually, this. The big Cooper's uh, thrust up mini Malibu board. There you go, cool thing. Really like the big Capo de Monte lamp as well. Really nice. More tribal stuff, clubs and necklaces and figures and gourds. Coca-Cola, nice little uh, industrial fan there with the hammer tone finish. Pretty English china. Nice little pair of ebony elephant, little sort of coat hooks or something there, wall hangs. More little sea pick figures over the back are pretty cool. These are Ace, the Charlie Brown, Snoopy, little felt paintings, more tribal figures and pottery and radios, nice little cameras, some Victorian china, here's nice, the Edwards tea, tea tin, lovely old bucket as well actually, yeah, he's pretty cool, little retro lamp up the top there, lots of nice stuff this week guys, Bushel's tea tin's nice, there you go, the old pennant kerosene tin's a ripper, Nasco Front suspension unit fluid, there you go. He's pretty cool as well, little plastic Ford XP or XM station wagon. Lots of nice stuff this week, guys. More tribal, a little club there's a ripper and a nice little axe, plus some figures. There you go, a little mask down there's cute. Box Beatles record collection. Nice glass orifers and Costa Boda and stuff. Really nice tin actually down the bottom there. And the kitchen canisters. There'll be lots more images of this stuff on our website, guys. And into the end cabinet we've got some lovely things. The big box football game. This is the fantastic big Ray Taylor Australian Pottery Charger. It's bloody massive. Massive thing. 
and the tribal sort of voodoo figure down the front there with the bone tucked in its front. Nice little bronze reproduction line. We've got some lovely reproduction bronzes again this week. He's a nice little African mask there as well. Little clock, amberina glass. The big bull has been painted, but it was orange. It, it is actually an Ellis bull. We actually scraped a bit of paint off the side to expose the orange coming through underneath. But there you go. It wouldn't be hard to get the rest of it off. And nice stuff up in the couple of top shelves here. This is a nice little bit of Daisy Merton. A little bit of Australian pottery there, all hand-painted new tone piece. You've got the top. Nice little bit of remude there. The lovely um, Chinese teapot. This is nice as well, the Australian map there with the two World War I diggers, a little trench art kitty hawk and a trench art Mark V Spitfire, I reckon, with those two 20mm cannons on it. Some nice little bits of remude and taxidermy turtles. Big fowler teapot over the back's quite nice. Lovely bit of Medina glass, a couple of mint box, matchbox FJ panel vans. Yeah, heaps of cool stuff this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, bad bloody luck.